Sleep Farm Guy here with an update to the HiViz LED lights track your front weight on Farming Simulator 22. This is by Scandinavian Vikings Mod Rebuilds Team. 2.12 megabytes to download. And there has been some changes to the mod. Now, for some of you who may have watched my Farm Sim report a couple of weeks ago, I did mention that uh, they had uh, commented on my original video and said they were taking some suggestions into consideration to add uh, to an update and i do believe they have changelog 1.01 updated the mod description uh, corrected some kind of a file uh, probably uh, kind of a technical thing that I, I don't know anything about added attached joint joint control keyboard mouse control um, we'll talk about that. Added a three-point link op option, which was something that I mentioned, but others maybe too. Added a front electric outlet and a XML file adjustment. So, what does that all mean? Well, let's have a look at it in the store first. Tools. Weights. And here she is. It's Kloss branded, $3,450 and up to 3,400 kilograms. Now we have a, a bunch of extra options now. So we can see the electrical outlet there and some nice uh, ball and pin hitch attachments there as well. We have base weight, 1,800 kilograms. So that's where it starts out at. We can add up to... Uh, another through it can make go we can go up to 3400 so 3400 kilograms for an extra 1600 dollars or uh, we could go up to the three point link so this is just the hitches as you can see the ball and pin hitch and then you can add the three point link as the base weight plus you can add um another 400 kilograms to to bump it up to 2200 kilograms with the three point link and then it goes back to your standard so 550 for that uh, 150 bucks for the added three point link and then up to 1600 dollars extra for the maximum weight uh without the three point link if that makes all sense to you guys now colors we have a bunch of colors i don't remember this many colors so added colors very nice so a lot of varies variations of gray uh, and kind of well just gray different shades of gray 50 shades i don't think there's 50 shades whoa i'm getting excited here uh, we also have uh, uh the probably aforementioned toothpaste type um shade or very close to it when i would what some consider a toothpaste shade so thank you for that and then uh and then some kind of really neat uh chrome colors we have a chrome red uh just a chrome or silver metallics or silver red metallics so these are listed as metallics but they're um, very much chromey in appearance uh green we have a yellow, which looks very light, much like gold, in my opinion. An orange, a white metallic, which is just a kind of a brighter chromey look, I guess. Blue, uh, black. Uh, oh, here's the chrome, which is looks a little bit more galvanized than chrome. Silver chrome. There we go. Woo, shiny. <laughs> <clears throat> and a black chrome, so we get the actual chrome colors they're kind of designated and then of course your base palette colors so just a thousand bucks for that thousand for that thousand for that how about the grays 430 so the grays a little cheaper the custom colors are actually a little cheaper than the base game colors just so you know in case you're being a frugal little fellow Four hundred and thirty dollars for the upper. Oh, that's a, a nice, a nice matte color there too. Anyways, gunmetal, right? So <laughs> enough of that. Here we got uh, the just the base model one. So if we hop in there, 
and come forward we're going to show you uh, lights first so lights there we go and L1 and right stick up and down you can now infinitely adjust to the height of that weight I believe that was something that was added if I recall correctly uh, and of course that's pretty much it you can also just automatically L1 and circle it will go all the way down or all the way up now we have a couple of trailers a pin hitch and a ball hitch trailer of course that we will test and yes as expected and a ball hitch trailer I would be very surprised if it did not and of course it does right so what else can you do with it well let's pop over here and we have one in a very beautiful shade of a somewhat toothpasteous color and um, we have a three-point link here for something so as it turns out well you can obviously it hooks up and you can move it around um, at this point it's you can't lower the implement so um, it's on there but it doesn't if you want to use it as a, a link to another implement to work it uh, it won't activate whatever it's hooked to now I didn't specifically ask that that is what it would do or could do I just kind of said oh it'd be nice if there's a three-point link on it and that's what that is it does have a three-point link on it um, it just doesn't uh, let um, well at least a cultivator work so hang on a second I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a, a plant or a, a planter I'm gonna get again I'm gonna get another piece of equipment to see if that will work with this so hold on all right so we have this uh, this weight uh, uh, equipped with the three-point link and we have a cedar over here uh, with the two-point so you have to have a three-point link in order to attach this particular cedar this is a base game pottinger uh, nothing special about the cedar just a regular base game direct drill cedar uh, but you have to have a three-point link so why why use this instead of the, the tractor three-point link like why would you want why would I, wh what what kind of nefarious reason would I ever want to have this set up for in which you can adjust the height manually and have a three-point link well let me show you now as you can see here this will hook up very nicely and yes of course you can adjust the height of the weight manually uh, but in this case it is not uh, the oops unlike this piece of machinery where it directly hooks to the back and uh, for some reason doesn't it, it doesn't lower I mean it's not good it doesn't work with this setup uh, this on the other hand is just attached to a, a basically a hitch to the cedar and the cedar itself up uh, raises and lowers as we will demonstrate so now we have the cedar see that's the weight now the cedar is um, highlighted and we can lower and raise the cedar uh, on its own without raising and lowering the weight got when I got where I'm going with this now we turn the cedar on and I'm gonna hire a worker and watch what uh, so before okay so before <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna back up the boat just one second here this cedar is rated for um, nine miles per hour so to keep that in mind nine miles per hour I'm going to hire a worker right now and watch our miles per hour we have already exceeded the nine mile per hour yes yes this is what I was after really <laughs> it is uh, has allowed me to uh, far exceed uh, the speed capacity or the speed limitation of this particular cedar so that is my that is my nefarious reason 
for requesting a three-point link on this particular weight. Now that it makes it very handy in a lot of different situations for sure and uh, you can fool around with the uh, ball and pin hitch as well it makes this a very versatile little weight uh, for many different reasons uh, one of which I showed you here so uh, there you have it uh, that is a very nice update to the a high vis LED lights tractor front weight by the Scandinavian Vikings mod rebuilds team. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Um, I hope everyone enjoys this update. Uh, 2.12 megabytes to download. Get it while it's hot and toothpaste ish. <laughs> Anyways, I'm Lonely Farm Guy. Thank you all for watching and remember. It's only a game, so till next time, bye for now.